17 years old. My name is Gavin Spiller. I'm 16 years old. My name is Ja'Cory Walton. I'm 17. My name is Quincy Roy. I'm 16. I would say I listen to like a good amount of music, like for a, a predominant part of my day. But like, it's, I definitely listen to a lot of rap. I listen to quite a lot of music. I listen to a lot of rap, a lot of rock, some reggae, decent amount of country. I listen to a lot of music, like, I'm listening to music almost every day. And I listen to rap or R&B. Uh, I listen to a lot of music, like a lot of different types, but mainly rap and like some R&B. I would say when they follow a lot of trends, you know, they, 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 they implement that into their songs. And so they, they're playing the market, you know what I mean? I think if they get a certain amount of views and a certain amount of number of the people that watch them and stuff, and um, they do like concerts and stuff on the regular, I'd say that they're pretty mainstream. When other people can relate to the music or feel what they're talking about in the song. Uh, when they're repetitively played on the radio, Maybe. I think that's a good answer for that. Huh. That's a good question. I don't really listen to anyone in specific like that. Like, 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 I just listen to a lot of music in general, you know. Most often, I don't really listen to an artist all the time. You know, I listen to a lot of like Polo G, Skinner, Dara Smith, Lil TJ, Juice World, X, XX, Glock 9, a lot of different people. I listen to some, everybody listen to a little Drake, you know, I gotta put the Drake in there. I listen to some J. Cole, and then I go to NLE Choppa, Young Boy, you know. Probably J. Cole, he's probably like my favorite art, probably the favorite, the one I listen to the most. Um, not exactly, like, again, because I listen to like pretty much everyone, right? Like some people will be mainstream, it really just depends on how I'm feeling. And but I would say for the people that are mainstream, it's just because they are, you know, they're obviously playing the market, you know. Uh, some of them, some of them aren't even in, in rap, so but some of them, yeah. Yeah, consider mainstream. Yes, I consider those are mainstream. They have, first of all, they have like thousands of followers, thousands of viewers and they can put out stuff that people can relate to. Um, I would, yeah, I, w I would, I would. Just cause he's like, him, Drake, and Kendrick are probably like the most popular three. So all three of them are kind of mainstream, like known by everybody. I would say I'd prefer to listen to like underground, like deeper stuff. But I mean, it really depends. You know, and I, it only really depends because like, like like if I'm feeling like upbeat or happy, I want to listen to something kind of hype. But like if it's like, you know, I'm just chilling, like I just want to, you know, get out of my head. I'm going to listen to something a little more underground. Well, I think uh, mainstream typically ha has music that appeals to more of everyone's liking. So I'd say probably mainstream, but there's some underground people that go pretty hard. I think I prefer listening to mainstream artists. I prefer underground just because there's a lot of like hidden gems there that most people aren't like familiar with. So. Play the beat like samurai. I see Jackie is that guy. Over said I'm looking fine. Cause my door's a suicide. Lyrics get you hypnotized. And that shit is no surprise. Other rappers fall behind. Need to catch up like it's time. Hey, Shotty, I've been looking back at it like a nightmare. I was thinking about it and I realized that you never cared. Back as a kid, then I grew up on the farm.